Become your own music producer step by step. This is going to be a guide breaking down how to produce your own music. I wanna save you some time, so let's dive into the computer. First, what I'm gonna do is take you through the entire overall process super quickly. Then we're gonna actually dive in and I am gonna show you live examples. So um, this is the, basically I call it the client success journey in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. That's where I take vocal artists and teach you how to become your own music producer in 90 days. So basically the first phase is gearing up. So we go through mindset stuff, um, time management, high quantity of high quality, and then battling resistance. I show you the hardware and the software that you need to get. It's very, very simple stuff that you need to get. We're gonna skip this part for today and just dive right into the producing, which first is producing instrumentals. We're gonna go through the melody, drums and bass, and arranging, right? That's all the stuff you need to do. Then mixing and mastering. Once you've got your song written, you wanna record vocals and sound professional. Then mixing the song so that it sounds well polished and blended together and then mastering it so it sounds great in every single speaker system. So starting with the beat making, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull up, there's only two tools that uh, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Splice and I'm gonna use Arcade. So let me start with just Splice. Um, and by the way, this can work for any genre of music. It really, really does not matter. But Splice is a great tool. I have the app installed. There's a website as well. I'm not going to do all the signing in. But essentially, you can download sounds and you can use them in your songs. So let's get into it. I'm just going to click on a random pack here that I see. And you'll notice that um, when you click on the sounds, you'll notice that they have the key in BPM, which is great. Right? So let's click on one. That's cool, you can make something dope out of that. Right, so you can drag stuff in. I'm just gonna go for something else because I don't really like those sounds. But you can basically click, you can search things as well. So let's say I wanted to go uh, for folk guitar. Not my genre at all whatsoever. I mostly make hip hop, but I have a client in my Rapid Fire Music Academy, Devin Christodoulou. He makes more folk music, so let's hear what they got. Yeah, that's cool. Right? Could do all types of things. I'm gonna try lo-fi piano see what comes up when i search that you can search for specific sounds you can go for packs right Ooh. we're gonna download that so i'm gonna ask, go into this exact pack and see if i can find stuff that'll match with it so d minor 140 look at that d minor 140 d minor 140 you could hear that the sound's similar. Oh my God. This is like the best pack I've had in a while. <laughs> this is so fucking dope. All right, well, let's just start something. So boom and boom. I'm gonna take those two. I'm gonna take this one as well. I'm actually just gonna go D minor 140. Just these two. All right, so I'm going to drag it in. Oops. And I'm using Logic Pro X. That's the name of the DAW. Like, if you've been uh, recording vocals, you know, you'll you'll know what that is. If not, doesn't matter if you're using Logic Pro, Ableton, doesn't matter. One other thing I wanted to show you is uh, Splice has been doing two things recently. Number one, you can go right there to those two little circles and it'll show you similar sounds. Oh, I love that. That's hard. Ooh. Oh, that's hard as fuck. Ooh. Right? The other thing is create a stack. So we're gonna go with this. Watch what it does here. This is insane. It'll literally start making you a beat. You can solo them out. Don't like that. Don't like those vocals. You know what? I don't like those either. Watch this. So I'm going to unmute them. And I'm going to hit this. 
And if I don't like that style, just delete it. For base, right? I can hit add and put more stuff. All types of shit you can do. Cool, right? So I'm going to just stick with these two sounds. I'm going to change the BPM to 140 because that's what the uh, samples are. Right, I'm going to enter. Start over. I'm going to create a little loop. You just drag here. Turn this one down a little bit. Come on, bro. Like, that's, come on. Like, what are we talking about? That's insane. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Arcade. That's another thing I can use. So I'm going to go to Software Instruments. I'm going to go to Arcade. I think Arcade's tw fuck. It's either 12 or 15 a month. I can't remember. Um, and you can literally find a bunch of sounds as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go D minor, right? See how it says D M I N bottom right corner. I can change it to D minor. Perfect. Now everything I play is going to be in D minor. And basically how splice is kind of like already pre-made loops. These have pre-made loops, but it's different because they're pre-made loops but you can edit them based on the BPM and the key of your song. So it's kind of cool. So I'll show you what I mean. So we've got, let me just see what I even want to do. Mm. Got a vocal sample. Mm. I'm going to maybe go for like a, I don't know, fucking synth. <laughs> Um, and you can go through all the packs. I'm obviously very familiar with these packs, but here's Vintage Synth. So I'm going to click those. And then it's already in D minor. So I'm going to press play on my, on my session. So I'm going to get out of arcade, click in here, press play. And then as I preview these, they're going to match in key and BPM. And then I can preview them, and then we'll be able to pick if we want to play it or not. Maybe. Maybe. You can start to heart stuff. Right, you can. Not really fucking with those. Pop underground, hear that? I like that, could have some guitars that I like. So now I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna hit Command K just to pull up my keyboard. I'm using literally my keyboard on my computer. Right? Every time I hit it, Right? And if you want to go beyond it, you can just click. But I kind of had found that. I like that one right there. And I'll just mess around. I'll hit X, I'll hit record. Oh, you get the BPM here.
Good. I'm going to hit the letter Q. Oop. I'm going to It didn't catch it quite. So I'm going to hit the scissor tool. This happens a little bit. Scissors. Do you see how it kind of starts a little ahead? So I'm going to click that and make sure it ends on the right point. You can kind of see too right there on the little four line. So now I'm going to hit command A. I'm going to hit Q. See how that one moved a little? And I'll label that as guitar. Nice. We can edit the crap out of that. Awesome. Next is going to be drums and bass. I'm going to go find a bass. Um, you can go find a bass in arcade. You could find one here. But I'm going to go for... Uh, actually, I'll stay in this pack and see if I can find a bass. And let me just... There we go. D minor 140. Look at that. Found a bass. <laughs> That's fun. Don't you love when shit's easy? Awesome. Okay, let's go with drums now. So I'm going to pull up... Now, I'm using... I'm using this. This is from Logic. It's called Ultra Beat. Um, and it's, it's a great tool. It's free, obviously. It comes with it. So I'm going to show you guys something real quick. There's something called drag and drop. So you can take sounds, because like in Splice, like here, let me show you real quick. You can get drums from Splice. Um, so let's see if I find, like if this pack even has... Hmm. Let me see if I can find a pack that has drums as an example. I'll go to browse. I just thicker drums. Yeah, okay, so like... No, but yeah, like these have drums. Actually, and this has loops too, which is cool. I don't want to use loops. I'm not a big fan of using loops for drums just because when you mix it, it gets annoying. But like, see how that has... Okay, cool. So I'm going to hit like and download for these two as an example. So now I'm going to go to Ultra Beat. I'm going to go to Drum Kits. And it's called drag, where is it? It's called drag and drop. So see how it says sample one, two, right? So I'm gonna go to splice. Let me move this window over so they're like next to each other. Got my kick and my snare. So I'm gonna literally drag this right into there. And I'm just gonna double click where it says sample 01 and label it kick for snare. I'm gonna label that snare. All right, and this is called, I'm going to go back into this one later. Um, but this is called Thick Drum. So I'm going to hit drag and drop. And you could, by the way, like you could go and download a ton of drums and go manually drag and drop one by one. Hi-hats, claps, all that. I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, I'm going to just go save as. And I'm going to call it Thicker Drums 1. Right, save as thicker drums. I'm just going to call it one because I'll probably go back in there. Right? And now, like, I'm going to delete this. Watch this. When you go to Ultra Beat and open it and you go to here, thicker drums one. There it is. The exact drums. And that's what all of these are. These are all a bunch of other splice drum packs that I've done over the years. So I'm just going to stick with this one. Command K. Might have to drag it over one, right? They're super loud usually, but we can play some drums. You can fuck around. I could just hit the there on the three every one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Boom. Right? I could hit Q. I'm gonna command C, command V. I'm gonna hit command D. Duplicate the track. Now I've got the same pack but the kick. Let's play a kick. time
All right, hit Q. Boom. I'm going to hit Command D. Nice. Now I'm going to go for something else. Boy Wanda drums for some hi-hats. What's cool about Splice is you can literally get drums from humongous producers like Boy Wanda. Right. So I'm going to hit a little keyboard shortcut. A um, couple ways you can do hi-hats. You can go here in the scissors tool. Um, you can add a region. So you can hit command. See how I changed that to pencil tool? I can now hit command and my mouse becomes a scissor or a pencil. Highlight, command J, right? Like this is all shit that you've probably seen on YouTube. Little fucking tutorials like this, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and go fucking fast and do this shit. Um, all right, you can go here, brush tool. See, I hold command and, or I can change it here to one eighth. Right here, I can hold command and erase it and now change it. Right? I actually kind of like doing it like that. And I might need to zoom in. Right? You could do it like that. I don't like to do it like that. <laughs> I like to hit... Sh this is called note repeat in Logic. So if you go to Logic, Preferences, Audio... Or, I'm sorry. Logic preferences, fucking uh, key commands, pre uh, edit. You feel me? Note, repeat, search for it, click it, learn by key position, and then type whatever you want on your computer to create your own keyboard shortcut. All right? Command K. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to move fast so I can save you some time. So I'm going to just do the rolls first. Now I'm going to layer that with a consistent one. Right? I'm literally just holding the, this letter Y right there. I'm not hitting it repeatedly over and over again. I'm going to highlight that and hit Command J. Because I want to, hey, let me just make sure. Okay, cool. It's one region now. This is hi hats. I'm going to hit Command D and I love that conga drum. I might add that in there somewhere. Nice. Little accent note. Love that. Just a few here and there. Nothing crazy. I'm going to hit Command D. Um, this will be the open hat. I love that fucking open hat for me. <laughs> fucking love open hats. That's just, I'm a fucking... <laughs> All right, sweet. So in terms of arranging it, um, generally speaking, you can do a lot of different, arranging is its whole art on its own. So I'm gonna hit Command C, Command V. Um, I'm gonna delete the drums just from this first section. See, I'm just kind of creating a moment. 
and I'm going to drag this over, hold Option so that the plus comes up. Yeah, this will be the chorus. And then for the verses, like I'm not a big copy paste guy for verses, but what I do like to do is just to get a skeleton of the beat, I copy and paste just to get a skeleton. Um, I do final, final stuff later, but just to get a good skeleton for the beat, I will copy and paste. So if the chorus is two, by the way, we are now doing arranging. So if the chorus has two of these sections, I'm going to have the verse have double that. And then I'm going to drag this over for the chorus. And you can see, what did I take out? I took this part out. I might take the congas out too of the verse. Open it. See? Easy. And then maybe for the for right here before the chorus, maybe we throw this back in there. Take the guitar out. Right before the, like a pre-chorus. Nice. I fuck with that actually. And we got chorus again. And again, just for a skeleton, I'm just gonna drag this over. Just as a skeleton. I'm gonna do more arranging later, but this is fine for now. Next thing I'll do is fucking write some lyrics. So I'm gonna show you guys a sick ass tool called lyricstudio.net. I'm gonna open up an audio track. All right. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself. So I use this plugin pack called Waves. So let me show you that real quick, actually. So you can go to Waves. Waves.com slash subscriptions. So I pay, what do I got? I'm doing this one. 25 bucks a month, get all of their plugins. Their plugins are sick. I'm going to show you some of them right now. Boom, Waves, look at all these fucking, I mean, it's insane. You can also just literally while you're here searching, I can hit, like, start to type out the name of the plugin. Waves Tune Real Time, which is what I use for Auto Tune. It's not the classic um, Antares, which is like kind of the one that uh, T Pain was using. Um, I don't really fuck with Antares because their customer service is literal dog shit, and they fucked me over because they had an update. I don't want to talk shit about Antares. That's not the point of the video. They fucking suck. I fucking hate them right now. I'm willing to forgive them, but right now I don't fuck with them and. Um, they have to do a lot to earn my business again. So uh, anyway, okay, so I'm going to have Waves Tune on here while I'm recording just to, like, you know, have some auto tune. Fuck it, right? Um, so I might, like, now this is going to be super row body. This is less. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to turn it up for writing purposes. Maybe I slow it down a little, but it's just, I'm just writing by myself. Like, who the, well, I mean, I guess I'm with you, you're watching it, <laughs> but fuck it. So I've got this on, this is lyricstudio.net. I'm gonna hit new song, uh, rap. Hmm. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably save this. So command S, Jesus. Be organized with saving your files. Uh, singles 2024, this will be uh, hook screenshots. Um, I'm just going to call this life. I'm just going to call it goals. Goals, D minor, 140 BPM. Cool. That way I don't lose what the fuck I'm working on. All right. So this is um, cool. Lyricstudio.net. You can literally, let me just minimize this. You can literally add like themes um, and it'll start giving you topics. So this is definitely like about, uh, actually believe in success. I like those. Let's see. And we, you don't have to go with that, but you know, 
And then what I'll do is <laughs> call it goals. Now you can it'll feed you shit. You can go to settings, you can change these settings if you want. I'm just gonna leave them the same. Pick a line. And once you do it, it'll start giving you themes based on that and rhyming words, which is pretty cool. So let me, I'm gonna put a loop just on the chorus. They got me feeling like not. You gotta get that money. Oh, God. Got me feeling like I never made more. So I'm just gonna mumble and shit. Actually, I'll literally show you how I. I'm going to show you literally how I record. Watch. So, I literally will record exactly how I'm going to show it to you. Like, I've been recently writing. I'm just going to record, mumble, come up with something. All right, let's see what happens. fucking keep all that but they got me feeling like i'm something they ain't seen before all right i just said a line they got me feeling like i'm something they they got me feeling like i'm something they ain't seen before right so maybe maybe it's like yeah this is actually dope because goals it's kind of like now i'm talking about they as in my fans, right? My fans got me feeling like I'm something they've never seen before, which is like, damn, that's kind of cool. Like you're, you're talking about your fans kind of big up in you. This is kind of like thanking the fans. So they got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I can hit new suggestions, right? It'll hopefully it'll rhyme with the word before, but they got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on a raging, on a raging, on a dream before. Okay. I, I said dreams before somewhere. Um, yeah, let's see if we'll do it again for before. But they got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. Like, what did I say? They got me feeling like I'm something, something they ain't seen before. before. I've been on it. I've been what? They got me feeling like I'm something. They got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on the up and up and I've been on the up and up. I'm gonna try to rhyme with seen before. They got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on the up and up, I never let my. Something like dreams, dreams and more. Can never sell my. Oh. They've been, I've been on the up and up. I, I, I wouldn't. They got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on the up and up, would never sell my dreams for more. There we go. 
Talent. They I'm just got me some feeling words out. like I'm summoning a I've been on the up and up when never saw them dream before. Hey, I'm even in on an Yeah, I could I could literally just repeat these words again and just change up the melody, but they got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. But you know what they mean they ain't seen. I'm just gonna fucking freestyle the rest. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't even know what's gonna happen. Me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on the up and up, would never sell my dreams for more. Came to win my squad, got killers who gon' reach for more. Never could associate with people who believe the norm. And we outside, we going in and out of our mind. There we go. We outside. All right, let's do the whole hook. There's the chorus. <laughs> like, it's a good draft. Like, I might redo it later, but who gives a fuck? They got me feeling like I'm something they ain't seen before. I've been on the up and up, would never sell my dreams for more. Can't do it, my squad got killers who gon' reach for more. Never could associate with people who believe the norm. And we outside, never giving in, I'm always bound mind. Reaching for the stars, I got goals to shine. I got goals to shine. I got goals to shine. Maybe I got goals to shine. There's the keeper right there. So, here's what I'm going to do. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a part two. I'm going to make a part two. So, what we just accomplished, honestly, is a fucking lot. Now, we're looking at a demo right now, in my opinion. It's not finished. But what did we just get done in the span of less than, I don't know, an hour, 30 minutes? We got a beat done, a, great, a really good sounding beat. We can build off of it, right? We got a great beat done. We wrote the fucking chorus, which is the most important part of the song, bar none, no arguments. The chorus is the most important part. And we recorded it. We recorded a reference. So here's what I'm going to do. This will be part one of producing music step-by-step step as a beginner. And if we follow our uh, our little guide, and yeah, I'm going to keep talking with the auto-tune. It sounds sick. We got this all done. <laughs> we even got some of this done. But what I'm going to do is in the next videos, I'm going to get all of this done all of this done i'm gonna at least finish the chorus I, maybe i won't record the the whole thing but i'll get the chorus done i'm gonna record we're gonna go through a full like real recording session which was not this this was like a demo recording session then i'm gonna mix it in front of you i'm gonna master it in front of you and that's what we're gonna do so if you want to watch the rest of these videos make sure you subscribe to the channel Make sure you hit the bell notification. Make sure you stay updated because we're going to continue this series.